Just a quick inspiration video with St. Patrick's and Irish stuff I've made over the years. This first piece, by the way, I'm filming at my dining room table because I actually have some light in here because I'm in New York and it's very gloomy and snowy right now. So this is just one of the Dollar Tree little houses and I switched out the background with some shamrock scrapbook paper, added some little florals, you know, I did a little like like dry brushing white paint on it because it was a, a, like a wood color. And I did the same thing with the word blessed. I'm pretty sure I got that at Hobby Lobby, but you could put some sort of shamrock or something else in here. This is just one of the MDF hearts from the Dollar Tree. I spray painted with rust oleum gold on the top and it was already white. So I just sanded off the back, you know, a little bit on the edges. The little shamrock, puffy shamrock is from one of the Dollar Tree, those headbands. You have the two and you can wear your little goofy headband for St. Patrick's Day. So I took off one of the shamrocks. And now we have our little luck farm, cause you know, everybody needs a little bit of luck. I did one of the Dollar Tree crates. I just did um, brown paint with a little bit of water to make like a, a faux stain. I personally love that over regular stain cause regular stain is stinky and it's a little more expensive. But my little luck farm, I bought these little wooden heart or excuse me shamrocks not hearts i guess i still have valentine's on the brain painted them green did a little dry brush and i added the little uh twine bow because they are little holds they're like sold as ornaments i bought them in a bulk pack on amazon i will link them in the description put a little reindeer moss in here and i think these are sold as baby's breath i can't remember but i just did it for a little extra texture all right we got one more to show and show on this round because I have these up all over the house. So I've had to pull them in here so we can show you. Not sure they still carry these anymore, but it had a heart originally and it said, maybe this is us or something. But I just did a little dry brush light green on it, added the little shamrock and put the bow so that I could hide the little hole. Other pieces, this is gonna be a topiary. This was one of the Dollar Tree's shiny metal green buckets. And I did some brush painting over it to kind of dull down the finish it, turn it a little more of like a shamrocky green. Added the little coin and the uh, ribbon. Some little goodies in there. But I used more of those wooden shamrocks. I covered them in moss. They were originally glittered and I changed my mind. I say I have to do some repair spots. And these where these actually live all year. I keep my stuff out. This is one of the Dollar Tree's rope shelves. And I put two together and then added the little beads to them so I can make, you know, a double hanging shelf. There's a little bead up there as well. A little quickie peeky at the shamrock again, or the topiary again. All right, I'm gonna go over to my little nook. Okay, now we're in my little nook. These are two of those, I think they were like called palettes, little palette things from uh, the Dollar Tree. Painted them white, did a little gray dry brushing. I'm into the gray dry brushing over brown. More of those wooden shamrocks I used in the back. Let me grab it. I used some of the little, little square wood things so that I can make it 3D so I could turn it into the planter. And I keep it hanging here on the wall. This is one of the wooden shamrocks from Dollar Tree as well. And I used some of the, um, what are they called? The moss sheets that they carry. And I just cut it to fit. I did have to fill a couple spots. And I've said in other videos, if you've seen any of my other videos, anything I moss, I usually paint the base green case anything ever picks through. These are cork letters. My mom gave them to me years ago, so I had enough and I got to spell the word luck and just added the little flowers. I think she might've got them at Hobby Lobby. Okay, we're gonna go to here. Yes, this is my little Irish nook corner. One of the Dollar Tree cutting boards. Painted it white, a little gray dry brushing, a little edge sanding, added the little hanger. And the saying is one of the Dollar Tree cards. And I just used the front of the card. I think those little jewels came from Dollar Tree as well. They were hearts. So I try to make them look like a little four leaf clover. This, I actually have a short uh, video out of this. This using the, the grapevine hearts. I saw Crafted by Corey make something like this for inspiration. I went looking on her channel. I saw it year, couple, probably a couple of years ago because I made this maybe back in 2021. And I couldn't find it on her channel. But... She has it somewhere on her YouTube, somewhere. This is another one of the Dollar Tree shamrocks, painted green. 
glittered it. I like to use Elmer's glue for my glitter base because it's a little bit thicker and I think the glitter sticks in it better than Mod Podge. Now Mod Podge, gloss Mod Podge could be used as a top coat, but I prefer like rust or Krylon gloss clear spray paint because sometimes Mod Podge can get a little hazy. So you can see it's all sparkly. I actually have a mix of two colors of glitter. I buy a lot of my glitter from bulkglitters.com. Uh, That's the, the, the little, little, excuse me. They're really nice people. A little more sparkle. And she's coated. Like, look, she doesn't even shed. Put a couple nice coats on of the clear gloss and you will barely ever have your glitter shed. This is another one from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure they have these out this year, but I have these letters in my stash. I spray painted them gold. They came from Hobby Lobby. A little more scrapbook paper. You can see I did some little dry brushing over it. The Shamrock's green, a little dry brushing to make them look a little aged, a little edge sanding. And of course the green beads. Gotta add beads to stuff sometimes to make it extra cute. Yeah, so this is my little nook area in my dining room where I kind of keep my Irish stuff out all year long. Don't mind my window looks a little filthy. It's a storage bench. So there's all my little goodies and my little nookie nook. Do any of you decorate for St. Patrick's Day and keep your stuff out all year because you're Irish? Happy St. Patrick's Day.